Anybody else in Bibles? Come on, go to, with me to Genesis, amen, chapter um, chapter 27, amen, and 24, amen. We want to talk about sonship, amen, and, and, and praise God. This is what God is dealing with me about because, amen, praise God, when you birth a son in ministry, amen, praise God, when you birth a son in ministry, and some people don't honor you, as a father, amen, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. You don't labor, you don't come on with people's amen in ministry, and you don't birth them. Amen. They walking in your spirit, walking in your anointing. Amen. But they don't value as a father. Amen. Somebody. But I want you to understand how important it is, amen, to receive the blessing that come from your spiritual father. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. People trying to go forth. Amen. Amen. Without receiving an endorsement from where they came from. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing to me why folks would despise, amen, the spiritual father and seek another. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Folks will seek somebody else to endorse them. Amen. Or seek somebody else, amen, to lay hands on them. Amen. But every time, amen, you see them or hear them, they sound like you. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, and people right, testify. Preacher. Amen. Pray God, you sound like Apostle so and so. Amen. And you don't know what make them upset because they don't want to be like you. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. But amen, you birth them. Amen. Into ministry, but they don't want to acknowledge you. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Now, here we come. We find out, amen, praise God, the two brothers, amen, praise God, Jacob, amen, praise God, amen, praise God, and, and, and Esau, amen, praise God, needed the blessings, amen, from his what? From their father, isn't that right? Yeah. Praise God, it was so, have you ever wondered why they were so, amen, praise God, uh, went through all the necessity to receive the blessing that came, amen, out of a man's mouth. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 So they wanted the blessing of Isaac. Come on, somebody. So the Bible tells us that Jacob deceived his father. Come on, somebody. And got the blessing of the oldest. Come on, somebody. And I want to say that because Jacob received the blessing that came from Isaac. Come on, somebody. Everything that Isaac spoke out of his mouth came to pass. Amen, somebody. Amen. They want everybody else to bless them, but they don't want where they came from to receive a blessing. Come on, somebody up in here. Amen. You, you labor, you pray, you fast. Amen. Pray God. A lot of times people don't understand that God gives you the gift of God put men in your life to mentor what's on the inside of you. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you, you a prophet, but you really don't know how to walk in the prophetic. Come on, somebody. Oh, praise God. You, yeah, 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 yeah. God called you an apostolic anointing call, but you don't know how to build your Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Shout glory, somebody. So God put me in your life to perfect you. Come on, somebody. Now y'all excuse me if I just move a little fast. Come on, somebody. Amen. So, amen. Anyhow, amen. Isaac, amen. And Esau. I mean, Esau and Jacob. And Jacob received the blessing. And everything that, that Isaac spoke on, Esau came to pass. Come on. But one thing that Jacob, amen, had on Esau, that, that, that Isaac blessed to me to have. Come on, somebody. So, so this is, amen. You think that you don't need your forefather or your spiritual father blessing to go forth in the ministry. And that's why a lot of folks stuck right now. Come on. Because they they, they all ran away from home. Come on, somebody. Talk to me about their spiritual father. Come on. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me up in here. Try to think that they don't need, amen. They praise God, they spiritual. But what they got on the inside, you need it. Uh -huh. You need what the, your apostle got. You need what your pastor got. You need what your elect lady got. Shout glory somebody up in here. Holy Spirit of the living God, we give you a praise right now. Come on, somebody. So, amen, stop being a real thing. Come on, somebody. Stop letting people persuade you. Come on, somebody. And think that you don't need. Come on, somebody. You're the blessing of your leaders. Come on. You need your leaders to lay hands. Amen. Then I either lay hands and don't take them. And he blessed them. Amen. Everything he did, he, he prospered them in. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. Now, I know we read that because we're kind of late, but come on, y'all, y'all, y'all go to Genesis chapter 6. You want to talk about something else? I got my point out. Amen. Y'all can read on the Y'all can read Amen. The Genesis chapter 16, verse 5. Now, here we find out that Amen. You, you, you know, you got rebellious folks in the church. You got folks in the church that they got more knowledge than the senior pastor. Come on, somebody. Oh, oh my 
God, somebody. You, you, you got folks in the ministry. They think that they think that God's going to exalt them over you. Come on, somebody. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Shout out to somebody. And they think, praise God. And you know how the devil brings the conversation. Well, I'm going to know too. Come on. God will shine me too. Shout out Well, 
or your pastor, and lay lay and told you, sit down. You ain't singing today. You ain't playing the keyboard today. You ain't preaching today because you out of order. The Bible says she deal hardly with her. And you know how we do, we, we do, we, some of us think we too big to get a whooping. Amen. Some of us think we too old to be spanked. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. So this is what happened. When she dealt hardly with, with Hagar, what did Hagar do? She fled from her. Place. She took off. You know how you love the church? You want to go over there in somebody else's church? You over there like shouting some more? Y'all, what y'all got quiet in here? You over there burning up somebody else's coffee? Coffee, amen, praise God. When you put a be hold at your church and don't want nobody to discipline you because you feel you more anointed than Come on, somebody. Holy is the name of Jesus. You feel like you got more? Come on, somebody. Then your leader, your overseer. Oh, they can't tell me their names and they hinder me. So the Bible say, amen, Hagar fled. She come out. Watch this. Watch what happened. Listen. Listen to God. Watch this. And the angel of the Lord found her. Now look here. She destitute. You know, you're going to hell now because you're out of place. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me. Uh -huh. All kind of demons just beat up on top of your head because you're out of place. Chuck, oh, you, you ain't even, you're out of place. Maybe everything just falling apart because you're out of place. They go ahead and go somewhere in the devil about to die because she ran away from the house of God. She ran away from her place that God put her here. Shout go to somebody in here. See, God got to release you from a ministry. You can't release yourself because somebody correct you and put you in order. Shout go to somebody. Amen. Amen. Come on, I'm there, Amen. Yes, mm. Maybe I come back I'll pray for you. I'm on the host tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. What he says. Found her by a fountain of water uh -huh. in the wilderness. In the wilderness. By the fountain in the way to serve. Now watch this. And he said, Hagar. Hagar. Sarah may. Sarah may. Which come is thou? Well, what you doing out here? Amen. Who told you to come out here? What? What you doing over here? What you? I thought you were a member over there. What you doing over there? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know y'all church folks. <laughs> What you doing over there? Oh. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. What he says. And where the west I go? Where you going? And she said, I flee from the face of my man. Man, no fool gonna log me my over in the church. The pastor picking on me. I ain't did nothing wrong. Told me to sit down. Come on, two minutes late. Shout go to somebody. The pastor repeat. And I'm grown just like he grown. He don't talk to me any kind of way. Y'all know how y'all get them attitudes. Shout go to somebody. She said, look at here. She was dealing hard with me. I couldn't take it no more. And God, I know you on my side. That's the question. God ain't on your side. Come on. Amen. Watch this. Your ministry tied up in your leader. Amen. Yeah, did you hear what I just said? Yes, your ministry tied up in your leader. Yes, sir, God. And the more you humble yourself, the more anointed God will allow you to be. Amen. And the more God will allow you to walk into the anointing, in the fellowship where he called your leader to do. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Amen. Watch this. And the angel of the Lord said unto her. And the angel of the Lord said unto her. Return to thy mystery. What? Return to Go the mystery.
But listen, what is it going to go to my final message? Sarah had to go back to Hagar. I mean, Hagar had to go back to Sarah to get the blessing. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Your ministry tied up in your leader. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. See, why a lot of people ain't advanced in ministry? Because they don't like the leader. They don't like their parents. Yeah, yeah. You know how to find some children that don't like their parents? Yeah, they ain't got nothing good to say about mama and daddy. Shout out, Lord. It don't matter how hard mama prayed. It ain't matter how hard daddy worked. How hard they prayed and fast. And, and they maybe came to the church and, and shot in and stayed up all night and paid bills and helped you and aid you, talked to you, counseled you. Amen. And you got the nerve, amen, to walk out, come on somebody because they were trying to put you in order, trying to tell you how to minister. Lord of God, trying to tell you, you we ain't doing it like it today, they do it over there. Hey, man, come on, don't bring that mess over here. Come on, this is how I'm doing it over here. Why? Because you got to fall upon the vision of the church, ain't making it. Eat. Come on, somebody in here. When you bring another vision in another man's house, they bring the vision. Come on, somebody. I don't care how the vision did it over there, but you over here, not shout over. If this go on Facebook, if this go on Periscope, all preachers are not lost. You don't let them home, you ain't got nothing good to say about the church, your daddy. If your daddy ain't no good, you ain't no good. Come out there, love us. Now you came out of your daddy. Come on, somebody in here. So how can you put yourself down? Come on, somebody. Yeah. Shout Go to Hebrews. We're going to finish this out. Holy Spirit, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You read chapter 12, verse 4. Ain't talking about sons. Amen, sons. Sons and daughters, sons and daughters. We desire sons. We desire. Amen. We desire to birth. Amen. Sons out of the ministry. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Desire daughters, amen, somebody, for yeah. well, honor, respect us, amen, somebody, yeah. Yeah. for our labors of the years and that we've been in the gospel shop over so oh, Amen. We, we don't desire treacherous folks, amen, that came out and got nothing good to say about the church. They came out, amen, on the noon of a dog in the ministry, out, amen, putting you down, ain't got nothing good to say, but don't realize, amen, what you're doing to your own church, your father in the Lord, ain't going to come right back home to you. That's right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 4. Come on, read. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and the 4th verse, what says, say? uh -huh. Ye have not resist unto blood, Come on. striving against sin. Uh -huh. And ye have not forgot, and ye have forgotten the, art, the exaltation which speaketh unto you uh -huh. as unto church. As unto what? Unto church. As unto children. Jesus said, if you, you got to be as a little child into the kingdom. You gotta humble yourself. You can't come in here. I'm 54 years old. I'm, I'm 34. You don't talk to me like that. You can't. You can't nobody teach those type of people. Can't nobody raise those type of people up. Hey, Amen. Hey, you know too much. You can, come on. You gotta be like Paul. You gotta pour all your knowledge and say, "Man, if God shuts in the midst, you gotta sit at the feet of your leader and say, teach me, train me, raise me up, tell me what to do.' Shout out. Children, watch this. My son, my son, despise not thou that thou chastisest of the Lord. Oh, you gonna get a whoop? Mm. Amen. God gonna correct us. Come on, David. When we walk contrary to God, yes, sir. Amen. Your pastor told you to be in church. You ain't coming to church. Your pastor said, "Well, we have a revival. I want everybody to show up. Some y'all, some somebody else church." Why oh, y'all looking at me funny? I'm gonna say it's so wrong then. I said it's so wrong then. Y'all looking at me. Uh, leave that alone, Rev. Leave it alone. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, God will what? Chastise. That's what he said. 
Don't despise it because it's a part of the plans of God. Come on. Amen. Amen. Now faint when thou are rebuked of him. Don't you backslide because somebody correct you. Rebuke means sharply correction. When they sharply correct you and they mean it harshly, they do it without compassion. They just tell you the whole natural but naked truth and rebuke you and say, hey, you the devil. It's supposed to hurt. It was designed to take you down and God can build you back up. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. He said, despise not, don't faint, don't give up, and then just humble yourself. That's right. Humble yourself. That's true. You know, you want to tell somebody, you don't need to go tell God. Go tell God. Just tell him. Tell God. You, you tell God. You tell the right person. God authorized him to re rebuke you like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, be funny. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me come on. For whom the Lord loveth, whom God loves, He chooses. He what? He chooses. God chooses whom He loves. So don't get this uh, this encouraging call. God read you that Peter was the chief apostle, was the most rebuked apostle in the Bible. Mm -hmm. God, uh, Jesus always reproving, rebuking Peter. Peter was out because God had put so much responsibility upon Peter. Your pastor depended on you, looking for you to show up, and you talking junk. They can't get nobody else. Lord have mercy. I love my pastor, but Lord, I wish he'd call Brother Sam sometime. I know him. Huh? Peter had the responsibility. He had the mantle of Jesus upon his life. There was nobody had more mantle than Peter of Jesus but Peter. Amen. Amen, somebody. So the more given, more requirement. Amen. So we show Peter, God give me more. Lord, anoint me more. God use more. God said, I need you to, I need to use you to sweep the flow. Amen. Amen. I ain't called to sweep no flow. <laughs> It's all right. Good word, Doc. Hallelujah. I'm back down. You ready? And scorn is every son. And what, he what is that word, scorn? Scorn is to mean to speak down to, to call you out of your character, to call you the devil. To call you, you know, you ain't nobody but the devil. Amen. Full of nicotine. Amen. You let that. But don't, don't, don't call one of these churches for the devil up in there. Because when you call them the devil, they're going to show up and be the devil. But they'll sit there, you be preaching, they be talking on them, but I'm going to be like, I'm going to get up and leave you. I really told you who the devil is. Amen. Y'all don't have to care for the Amen, somebody. Amen. He says, come on. Watch this. If you endure chastisement, if you endure chastisement, God deals with you. God deals with you as a son. So you got to take the correction of your leader that you become a son. Yeah. And come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Good. See, so you got to take the correction of your leader that you can become a son. That you can listen, 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 listen. Two spirits can't dwell. Well, three spirits can't dwell in one church. Amen. Amen. Only two spirits can dwell in the church: the spirit of God and the spirit of your leader. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, come on, the third spirit ain't welcome. Y'all ain't looking at me. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. So there's two spirits that you're going to take on. The spirit of the Holy Ghost and the spirit of your leader. So when Paul sent his disciples, he wrote a letter, have not we walked in the same vein, mind the same thing. Paul said, we like receive him as you receive one myself. Because this man just like me, because I birthed him as my son. Amen. Good word. Y'all understand? Yeah. We can't say that by everybody. Because some of our sons, they bastards. Y'all look at me funny when I sit there, I'm going to say it again. Bastard. And I'm going to read it out of the Bible for you. You won't say I call you a bastard. It's in the Word of God. The Bible says you a bastard. And, and what makes a bastard? Look at here. 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 You know what a bastard is? Amen. The, the, a bastard child know they mama but don't know who their daddy is. Amen. Amen. Huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? A bastard. They know who they know what mama they came out, but they don't know who their daddy is. Amen. And some of got bastard sons that come out the ministry. I know you came to this church. I know you followed me. I know you supported me. But you 
Come on. 